Cat uh, using con Control Cat has another uh, little icon that uh, is called a cloud icon, and it just kind of looks like a series of points. And in fact, that's what it is. Um, this can be used if we have a, an odd shaped surface and we want to be able to maybe check a master part and then compare that master part to uh, a production part. Um, what it does is a series of points, and I can do up to 25 points per cloud. Uh, so if I just hit the cloud icon and hit enter, it's going to come out and tell me a minimum of one point. Uh, I haven't taken any, and this is the just like every time else it asks which stylus you're going to use. So I could take up to 25 points per cloud. I'm just going to take three here just to make it simple. And it, these are random points on a, a non-flat um, surface, if you will. Um, and when I finish taking the three points and I hit enter, it'll now flash with a cloud symbol and I'll put that in my session. Now I'll run that and the reason I only did three points because it's going to do exactly what it did with the single point. It'll take three points for each one the first time through so it can figure out what vector it needs to be going every time it takes a, a hit. So I've basically taken three, in this case, random points, um, and, and it now has it on its session. But if I were to run that again, it will just take one point. And basically now it, will, it could compare those points to the last points I took or the next points I'm going to take. So if I wanted to do a comparison, if you will, not really a a measurement but a comparison so now it's working almost like a comparator um, and we could take 25 points per cloud you could have multiple clouds every additional cloud could be another 25 points therefore four clouds could be a hundred points uh, so you could literally take hundreds of points on a part and compare it uh, to the last one uh, which can be somewhat interesting to certain customers that have that application Thank <laughs> you.